I think Law just come to like shit. Except I'm gonna break him logically. Okay, don't start doing the pun because that that just isn't funny. Oh, Riley. <laughs> like I can I can play up the moments of minimum humor to enhance them, yes. but don't do the stupid logical pun because um, that's actually no. not funny. So no, 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 no. I, I just mean like I can make you like I you know I I want you to put it the end of there. So hey. my friend uh, or acquaintance Glitterwave Eighties actually found the soundtrack to the movie Mal of. Uh, the Bikini Malibu Shop. I forget what it's called off the top of my head. I'm probably jumbling it. The Malibu Bikini Mal Shop? I think it's Malibu Bikini Shop, yeah. Yeah, she found, like, she's gonna be releasing because she found, like, the whole soundtrack. She ended up finding the guy behind it or something. So I was like, oh, because that had really good music in the movie. <laughs> that was actually nice. a pretty mu a fun movie. I'm not gonna lie. I would watch it again. That was where the song Boys of Rock and Roll originally yeah, came Yeah, they're gonna from. release that. She found it, and now they're they're releasing it after like thirty something years. <laughs> and if y'all remember the Chipmunk Adventure movie with their version of Boys of Rock and Roll, that's one of the very few things that I would ever take positively from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yep. I mean, who else didn't like dance along to that s sequence as a kid when they first saw it? Well, what also helped is that uh, the head animator for that scene was uh, Glenn Keane. Yep. I'll be right back. Okay. Who uh, worked at Disney? Yeah, I was trying to remember who I heard from about that recently. Oh yeah, I think it was Toon uh, Toonerific Tariq who I uh, made a video about that whole thing. Hmm. About the uh, animation used on the Chipmunk Adventure and how you could distinctly tell which animator from like Disney or whomever I uh, worked actually, on it. I actually found out about that by a user who. I don't know if it rings a bell to any of you. He tried to be a part of the guy with the glasses, but he became his own entity called that fellow in the coat. I'm familiar with the name. So he did, he, 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 much like me, he did not like Alvin and the Chipmunks, and he was also enraged about the fact that it, uh, the squeak hole made more money than the princess and the frog. But he actually pointed out that during that scene, yeah, it's, um,. He went through this, like, that Glenn Keane was, like, jumping from working at Disney to working on the Chipmunks back to working at Disney for The Little Mermaid. I mean, it may makes sense during that time with Disney was kind of hectic until they went and decided to work on uh, Little Mermaid. Yeah. Okay, I have never taken on this guy before. At, well, with the blaster, that is. Ow! Honestly, you guys should watch the Malibu Bikini Show. Pretty funny. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I actually watched Screwballs last night. That was really, like, weirdly hilarious. Enjoyful. It. It, it was weird, but in enjoyable. I showed Golden Big Trouble in Little China for the first time this past year. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch that because, like, in my recommendation feed, I saw the ending bit where, um, like, Kurt Russell and, uh, somebody else was taken on oh was jesus you saw what he fu you saw what he fucking did you know what you fucking did he knocked me to the goddamn ceiling jesus there fucking hell dude if you like that you might like bikini uh bikini summer one and two um those are pretty corny and cheesy and then there was the bikini car wash company it has like three movies i'm sensing right, a three trend or four. Hmm? wait there's a there's more of these films than just the one yes, I, showed you? I i know i found like a bunch of them i saw i have teen vampire that was really bizarre um i've seen bikini <sighs> summer one and two i also watched the bikini car wash company one and two and then my husband came down. He's like, "Why have you been binge watching all these like really bad movies?" And I'm like, "They're just fun to watch." And then he just sits down with me and he watches. I think it was Bikini <sighs> Summer. No, it was the Car Wash Company too. And oh, wow. uh, you know, boobs fly on the screen. And he was like, "Okay, I low key want to grab a boob." So he's like, "I'm grabbing my boob." I said, "Excuse me, don't touch me. We're not doing this right now." And he's like, "Look." That is 40p. You have fucking VR. Now give me those boobs. 
Yeah. In oh, Minecraft. God. <laughs> I really should use my VR device more. But speaking of like obscure shit, you know, like for any like millennial or kid who grew up in the 90s who had access to a video store, how many of y'all would love to like sit down and watch like you ever heard of movies like uh, Pet Shop or Jack and the Bean Shop or Beanstalk and shit from when you were Jack a kid? And the bean shop. No, I'm I sorry. Have Jack not, and the Bean. But I'd be Jack interested. and the Do you remember Prehysteria? Back in the be Jack and the Bean Shock? No, Bean no, it's like right? Riley like Riley Riley misspoke so I kind of my word. I'm not like, surprised. I, it, Riley misspoke and said Jack in the Bean Shop and I was going to say that sounds like a really funny parody. But like the they were these weird like um rental store movie only films that like uh who they were made by Moonbeam Pictures I think they were called. <gasps> with... I've heard about those guys. They ended up either going out of business or being really obscured. Yeah, like the, they were the, an offshoot of that company that made those Puppet Master movies, if I remember correctly. Didn't they own a mall? Did they? Because I remember, like, I, I watch a lot of Dead Mall series, and um, there was one called Moonbeam, literally, and I'm not sure if they're one of the same. I don't know. I mean, if anyone remembers Pre Hysteria, that was the one about the tiny dinosaurs that these kids like found in eggs and had to hide and shit. It sounds like small soldiers or tiny soldiers. I vividly remember seeing that. Let that was a weird movie. Find a trailer. But no, there's hey like you be shocked. I I was kind of surprised to find all these really weird, obscure like '80s movies that are like B films. Just floating around on YouTube, and it's not even the free feature, and they're not getting taken down or nothing. I found, like, a bunch of them. There was one called Senior Trip. I have not seen that one yet. Um. Oh, remember watching Virgin High? That was a trip! <laughs> Virgin High? Oh, God, yeah. That, I, I, I kind of blacked that out of my memory, not gonna lie. Uh, that, that was actually pretty fun. There's also, I think... Police Academy that's on Tubi. There's like a bunch of them you could find on Tubi and um, there was another one I saw called I, I think Summer Jobs and that was an interesting film. Maybe. But ye. No, it wasn't called Jack and the Beanstalk. It was just called Beanstalk. That's what it was called. Hey, you guys remember that Jack the Giant Slayer movie? I know the name. I can't think of it in my brain. Anybody remember when there there was supposed to be a Jack and Beanstalk adaptation by Pixar, but that got shelved? Mm. Wasn't it called like Gigantic or something? No yes, idea. I remember that. I do. I do remember. Is like circling back briefly. I do remember the Ewan McGregor was in Jack the Giant Slayer. Or as I think he was. He might not have been. I don't know. And... I don't know, just started thinking about the movie because I had been stalking and thought to myself, hmm. And I remember actually kind of liking Jack the Giant Slayer. Because, like, there wasn't... I think it was because there wasn't really a super huge emphasis on you know, human drama, like you see in so many modern movies, like, you know, fucking Godzilla. It was like, it was actually about the beanstalk and the giants. <laughs> Rather than just saying it was, and then actually turning into a stupid romance drama. Or somebody who doesn't get along with their kids. Like, fucking War of the Worlds did. <laughs> But at least War of the Worlds had the presence of mind to, you know, focus on the aliens oh, after they showed up. has an HD version of this trailer. Sorry. No, you're fine. I was kind of rambling. Oh, I gotta watch American Hot Wax. What? There's a movie called American Hot Wax. It's not anything smactual. It takes place in the 50s. I don't know why it's called that. It must be similar okay. to American Graffiti. Alright, um... Kitty, chat. do you recognize any of these things that have been sent in and Hold chat? on, hold on a second. I need to hold the call on uh, for just a second. So, to the chat, 
Do you guys want me to get the remaining pieces, like the heart tank, um, and... Because so, the only way to get them is to use some of the other weapons. Is the challenge specifically to only use this weapon? You know what, you make a fair point. Because, like, I... I, I feel like there might be some wiggle room if you're only using those weapons to get the items, but if you damage other enemies with them, or That's if you it. have to damage other enemies with them, I'd say no. No, I don't think so. Okay, so if you... Uh -huh. If you can get the item without damaging an enemy, I'd say you should be allowed to use those other abilities as a utility. That's just my stance on it. Okay. <clears throat> Ouch. <laughs> oh my fucking god, X gonna give it to him. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little pin. I commit crimes for you. Aww. I, I know would... multiple people who would probably take that. Yeah, it's from a person called Sugarbone. And Sounds this like person cool makes um pins and cute shit and I love it. See, I'm briefly breaking the rules a bit. Remember, it's fine as long as you don't damage an enemy. That's true. It's like I am <laughs> I'm I'm using the Nurbit rules. For this challenge. The what? Okay, so there's a YouTuber I watch called Nurbit, who they do challenge runs of different video games uh -huh. with things like weapon restrictions or playing the role of specific characters, like can you beat Fable 2 as Master Chief, which technically you can, because Master Chief's armor and some of his oh, weapons damn, are so technically in Fable 2. But in is like if he's doing challenge runs in games like Fallout 3. Specifically things like a pacifist run since you have to shoot the rad roach in fallout 3 to progress the main quest and then leave the vault He treats that as something you should be allowed to do for the challenge because in some games and some instances There are situations where you do kind of just have to do something So in this game for this challenge So long as you don't damage any enemies you should be allowed to use your other abilities to reach your items Ouch. Although I know some people are probably purists about that, but fuck them. This is our, this is your stream. <laughs> yeah. Also, Jedi Padawan, I don't ever want to do a Nuzlocke stream. I just think that's a very stupid idea. Mm. I remember suggesting it a handful of times back when I, I don't know, was kind of just spitball and stuff, but now I'm kind of just like, yeah, no, that, no. <laughs> It's like, nu Nuzlocke is, is just pain. Yeah. Wait, what was in this one? Alright. Yay! So there's that, and there's also... Uh, there we go. Super fighting robot! Mega, Mega Man! Mega Man. <laughs> Super fighting robot! Mega Man! I love, how, I love how in sync we were. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Through your giant club! His what? His giant spike ball thing. Ow! Oh, his flail, okay. Or as I think it's called a flail. Nope. It's like, I... Because, like, I know a mace is just, like, something heavy at the end of a stick, and a fl A flail can be two things. Like, a flail can be a mace, but the head of the mace is on a chain, so you swing it around. Or it can be, like, just a whole bunch of whips tied together in Minecraft. <laughs> So it's really weird what 
defines a flail is very nebulous, but those guys with the shields do appear to f throw a flail at you. I'm now, I'm now just thinking of the term Morning Star because of that Jed video. <laughs> Die, mm. monster. You don't belong in this world. What the hell was that delivery? What? God, that was awful! Something, something, what is a man? Something, something, secret, something, something, miserable pile. <laughs> it's like, what is... It's like, fine, what is a man? It's like, you know what? I'm done here. Fuck you, Richter. What the hell is Juilliard? <laughs> I love that video too much. Then again, just a lot of videos that Jet makes is just hilarious meme shit. Do you know what, EJ? I have, I have a recommendation for you guys. Okay. Mm. So there's this YouTuber called Maxor, and he is he is, he is comedy. He he is comedy. Just watch both of his ultra kill videos in order, <laughs> and you will see. Ow! So it's like you will bitch. see that you will see that Maxor is not human. He is he is he is comedy. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna head off, guys. Night. Good night. All right, have a good uh, night, Riley. Oh, oh, murder! Murder! All right. But yeah, like, it's like I, I, I recommend Max or to like as many friends as I can because they, they need to, they need to, they need to see those videos. <laughs> Just like how I recommend Xenoblade to everyone. Not exactly the same, because, like, Xenoblade is a whole game. Maxor is, like, too long video. Well, no, he's got a lot of videos, but his two Ultra Kill videos are the ones I'd recommend the most. But... You can, is like, you can watch the rest of them, but, like, there's a big difference between two kind of long videos and one pretty long game. But it's a good game. I'm not saying it's not good, I'm saying it's long. In Minecraft... That doesn't... That doesn't... What? <laughs> Are you sleep drunk or something? <laughs> no, I'm hungry. Well, go and eat it's something. Late. Also, how do I feel... I do have to... Like, uh... Don't eat something heavy because it will sit in your stomach. Try to go light when you're before you're going to bed. Hmm. Hmm. I do want to say real quick. I, I hate the fact that usually on eight hours of sleep, I feel dead inside, but tonight on two hours of sleep, I have more energy than I've had the past two weeks. Well, as you get older, you don't require a lot of sleep. I beg to differ, though. I wish someone would tell my body that, because it takes the eight hours, whether I want it to or not. Well, Alarms don't work. Fucking Even being excited for Christmas doesn't wake me up any earlier, which is hilarious, because I'm seldom excited for Christmas anyway. Well, it's like, well, the only reason why I say that is because, like, my grandpa, like, would fall asleep in the chair watching football or golf, and I'll be like, Grandpa, are you sleepy? He's like, nope, I'm relaxing with my eyes closed. I said, okay, Grandpa. <laughs> I'll be there with his that mouth open. <sighs> Even the old people I used to take care of, like, would fall asleep, like, watching TV. But sometimes it depends because they have sun... Because when you have Alzheimer's and dementia, you have, like, sundowning, which your, your time zone gets, like, confused, and you can't tell which is the end of the day. And I remember this one woman, like, she would not fall asleep until I put the retro weather channel on. It's like a reverse alarm clock. Well, it, we called it the Sleepy Channel, and it was a godsend that I threw that in, and I was surprised they let me, like find it or use the TV and stream it, but it, it, it knocked one of the old ladies, like, straight out in, like, 20 minutes, because she would not go the fuck to bed. Like, I was like, bitch, it's time to go to bed. She was like, no. Hmm. Oh, so she's a child. Well, they get like that. They literally become, like, giant toddlers. Like, there was this one... <laughs> there was this one old woman! So I had to, like uh be in another house because um the other the person called out so i was like all right so i swapped houses for an evening 
and this one woman, she, I said, okay, ma'am, it's time to go in your room, and she, she flipped out for some reason, and she's like, no, you go to your room, and I was like, and she's like, you are grounded, I said, ma'am, I'm, I'm 30, 31, 30, 31, and she was like, no, you go to your room, you don't get any supper, and I'm like, and then the other woman was like, Honey, she is thirteen. She is thirty. I promise you. She she's thirty. She may look young. No, go to your room. You are grounded. <laughs> Cause she thought she was still back in school. The men just weird. You know, just by you mentioning that, you reminded me of um, what's it called Daddy Daycare with Eddie Murphy. And there was a um, there was a scene where he's trying to take care of um, Eddie Murphy's trying to like handle a kid who's scream crying. And, uh, oh, yeah, I know the, what you're talking about. And the I'm, mother I'm, is a nun, saying, like, let it calm down, like, like say it in such a manner. And Eddie was just trying to go with it. It's like, yeah, you do that. And the kid just kicks him in the balls. I'm <laughs> just like, what the fuck? He's like, no. That's his way of saying no. I just remember the scene where it's like, shut up, shut up, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come on. No. Alright. I feel like I might actually be cursed. Why? You remember that image I posted, like, a few hours ago at this point? Which one? The one with the, um... The, the one where I say, look at this boy. The one, the one you reacted to with Babby. Mm -hmm. Oh, the one where it's like, it's so cursed. Or horrifying. Ah, shit. No, it's not cursed. It's... Are you talking okay, about the monkey kid go, thing? Yeah, go into Phoenix Nest and scroll up a little bit. It's not that far up. Oh, okay. come on! God you know, damn this, it. This, when I say this image is a permanent fixture in my headspace, so I'm not being the hyperbolic. Monkey boy. Yeah. He's cute. Fuck! My, I... I can't. It's like my brain won't cycle that out. <laughs> it's it's there and it's not it's not leaving. <laughs> I, I just I love it so much. Ouch. What happened? Uh... Well, at least I got him. <laughs> nope. Ugh. Shit. Okay. Nope! Ah! Cocksucking motherfucker! <laughs> 